Okay, picking up where I left off in the last video, so this is the second part of it, um, extending that interest formulas to other exponential situations. So we have the law of growth or decay formula, which if we're given some initial quantity that we call n sub zero, very similar to p in your um, interest formulas, and we are either growing or decaying at a rate of r, sometimes also referred to as k, again, very similar to your interest rate. Again, we change it to a decimal. And then our, our final amount n, similar to A, after a time T, also by years, just like in our interest formula, is given in one or two different formulas. So we either have an annual interest rate, notice this is very similar to A equals P times one plus R over N to the N times T, where since it's an annual rate, our N is one, therefore we can just say R and T, or a continuous rate. So this is very similar to P times E to the RT. So the only difference is, is instead of P, I'm using N sub zero, my initial amount. And instead of A, I'm using N, which is my final amount. So looking at an example, suppose we have a city in 1970 with a population of 153,800. If we assume that the population increases continuously at a rate of 5% per year, we can predict the population of the city of the year 2010. So I have no idea what my uh, population of my city is when it first started. That's not what it's referring to when we say our initial amount. We're referring to the initial amount we're given. So the initial amount we're given in 1970 was 153,800. So I'm going to go ahead and let n sub 0 be 153,800. Since it's increasing at a continuous rate, I'm going to choose to use my formula n equals n sub 0 times e to the rt. So my initial amount, n sub zero, is 153,800. Um, it tells me that my rate is 5%, so r is 5%, which is 0 0.05. And in 2010, so from 1970 to 2010, 40 years have gone by, so I'm going to let t equal 40. And I'm going to go ahead and say that my new amount in 2010 is equal to 153,800 times e to the 0 0.05 times 40. From here, my, calcu excuse me, my calculator knows order of operations. However, it will not do my exponents separately. So I do have to go ahead and either put parentheses around this, or oftentimes I find it easier to just take one additional step before putting the whole thing in my calculator and saying 0 0.05 times 40 is 2, and now entering this into my calculator. When I enter that into my calculator, I get 1,136,437, and I'm going to go ahead and add my units on there and say people. So that would be my prediction for my new population. So again, that's assuming that my population continues to increase at a rate of 5%. Um, I believe that is the only example from this. Yep, there's no other ones underneath it. So you'll have some practice in class um, where you're going to practice using your interest formulas as well as given a situation creating your own formula.